Hi all, welcome back. Today I am going to uh, share you with the uh, discuss about the uh, Palword 2 CL access mode and uh, dashboard. Okay, let's access the Palword via Putty. So my IP at Palword IP address is 192.168.238.217. Once after that, it's asking for the security alert. Click on accept. Okay, so it's asking me for the login as yes, admin username and password is admin at one two three. So again, it's asking me for the username and password. Let me change the change it to the new one. Okay, so let's change the settings. Yes. So once you log in, so you can see uh, admin as username and at PA as a host name and there is a greater than symbol. So actually there are uh, two modes in um, Power 2 CLI. So one is operational mode and one is uh, configuration mode. So right now we are in operational mode. Uh, so operational mode is uh, uh, to view information about firewall and the traffic running through and uh, uh, it's it got like you know uh, some uh, op operations like uh, such as restarting and uh, loading the configuration or shutting down uh, so this kind of uh, uh, task we can perform when you like you know by uh, whenever you log into the cli so uh, you will get the operational mode by default so you can identify uh, as this is a uh, operational bar mode as using this uh, symbol uh, greater than symbol okay in operational mode so we can see some some of the commands we can execute like in you know, show system information so system in. so we can see uh, this is the host name and this is the ip address and this is the net mask and uh, ip assigned via dhcp so by default it's uh, enabled the dhcp so it's assigned via by dhcp so let's talk about this what we is like you know this is the as i already discussed this is the username and this is the host name of the device and the show is the action and the system is is for the section and this is the element so what i want to execute this one so this is all about the operational mode so when we suppose if you want to come out like you know if you want to go for the uh, next method so that is configuration mode configuration mode like uh, configuration mode is to uh, view modify polar auto firewall configuration and uh, you can switch between the operational and configuration mode at any time to enter the operational mode uh, so, uh, to enter the configuration mode so you need to enter the configure so right now you can see the hash symbol here instead of greater than so with the hash symbol you can identify this is the configuration mode so you can uh, you can switch uh, any time uh, between operational mode and configuration mode using the uh, quit or exit command okay, you can uh, have used that quit and you can, again you can mention exit as well so it will come out from the configuration mode so this is all about the uh, in future in further sessions we will discuss about the some of the commands used to uh, uh, some of the command or whatever the commands we can run in operational mode and what are the commands we can run in configuration or we will look into in further sessions so this is all about the access uh, CLI access so when we come to the dashboard so right now I'm in a dashboard uh, so we can see uh, so many uh, uh, information here so this is dashboard wizard it generally uh, uh, it's like you know, it will have a firewall information such as software version so you can see a software version here and the status of each interfaces as of now you can see uh, uh, I have selected a layout as a two column suppose if you want to select by selecting as a two column it will show in two columns so three columns so 
you can select wizards as well so applications wizards top applications and top risk applications you can see the those details system information interface details logs threat logs and url filtering logs and logs so system high availability okay so we can drag and drop these uh, uh, wizards by clicking and dragging to the other uh, other sections so when we when we can see this uh, uh, dashboard right so we can see all the in uh, three columns so here in to top applications uh, it will display the applications with the most sessions and the top high risk applications it displays the highest risk applications with the most sessions and thread log displays the thread id application and date time time for the last 10 entries in the thread logs and uh, the thread id's uh, malware descriptions are url uh, uh, that violates the url filtering profile only entries of that last 60 minutes it will show in this uh, thread logs url filtering displays the descriptions of uh, date and time for the last 60 minutes in the url filtering logs and when we talk about the high uh, high availability uh, like you know uh, it will show us the ha whenever there is a ha is enabled so we can see the ha status of local and peer so when we see when we uh, see about this interface so we got the eight interface in that suppose uh, right now all the interfaces are down so it is not showing any uh, green status so once it's up and running the uh, interfaces uh, will see uh, a green status which are all the uh, uh, interfaces are up and running so those uh, details will be shown here when we come to the general information it will show about the all the uh, details about the firewall so device is a power to this is the host name management ip it's a dhcp and this is the dhcp ip address and this is the net mask and the management default gateway is this and we don't have any IP, uh, ipv6 address and this is the mac address of that and uh, management mac address is this and model is uh, pa virtual machine serial number is unknown this is the cpu id and uid and we don't have any vm license and vm mode is vm various assign and software version is 9.1 I know we don't have any global protect agent and application version this is the application version and url filtering we don't have any url filtering version as of now because we don't have any license to this and we don't have any global protect and this is the time and this is the uptime of the device and this is the plug plug vm series this is the 1.08 and you can see the system uh, resources this is the management cpu it's utilizes the 18 percent of the cpu and data plane is cpu is two percent and this is the uh, session bumps okay when we come to the config logs so in the config logs it will display the administrator username client so how the uh, 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 how uh, device has been accessed like you know web interface or cli and date and time for uh, like you know almost 10 entries so when we talk about the logs uh, it will show the configuration logs that administrator 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 have set uh, that's it and when we talk about the acc risk factor last 60 minutes so uh, it dis it will display the average risk factor 1 to 5 for the network traffic processed over the past uh, week are higher values that indicate the risk and a logged in admins and a logged in admin it will display the source and uh, source ip address session type you can see here the session type is uh, like in console and client uh, and the session start uh, what time the sessions got started and this is the ideal for uh, the session was ideal for this uh, th these many times okay when we come to the system logs uh, the system logs shows the uh, uh, description date and time for the last 10 entries in the systems so these are all the uh, system logs and date and time you can see here okay 
this is all about the dashboard so we will uh, explore in more in uh, other dashboard uh, sections so ACC monitor policies objects network and device I hope uh, this video has been informative for you and I would like to say thank you for watching